Yes, who is it? It's me. Oh. You don't stop by very often, senpai. Is something wrong? No. I just wanted to talk. Aw, are you feeling won't we? Hey, are you teasing me? No. Well, maybe just a little. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what this Nyx is like. Hey, do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, isn't it, senpai? To talk about our decision? I... I guess it is. <laughs> you're so easy to read. I've made my decision as well. Kirijo is making great strides to turn itself around. After I graduate, I plan to assume leadership of the group and continue where my father left off. I cannot turn back now, even if I wanted to. But what if you die? If I die defeating Nyx, then the Kirijo group will have to continue on without me. But I am confident they would fulfill my wishes. Ryoji said Nyx can't be defeated. But I kind of wonder about that. I don't think our special member can be killed either. I agree. Death dwelled within her, amplifying her abilities, though she was exceptional to begin with. She's been burdened with so much, and she's still so cheerful all the time. I feel like it's because of her that I've been able to get through all this. Maybe all this fighting isn't so bad. I at least got the best friends of my life out of the deal. <laughs> You're right. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, it doesn't matter whether or not we die. All that matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Does your decision have anything to do with your father? Hmm, a little. But it's more about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, when we were in Kyoto, you asked me to stand by your side. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. We will fight together, Yukari. Together. Hi, how was your day?
hey!
thought you were gonna go visit your mother's grave. Oh, hi, Sonata-san. Is this where you should be? Well, I was planning to, but when I thought about what I was gonna say to her, it just didn't feel right. There are things I still need to do before I talk to her again. Yeah, same here. I don't have anything I need to tell Shinji right now. I have my own stuff to deal with. An undefeatable enemy, huh? Gosh, I wonder what it's like. You got me. But it doesn't matter, because I've made up my mind. I'm gonna look it straight in the eyes. Straight in the eyes? I like the sound of that. You can count me in, too. Yeah. Christmas. Where have you been?
Junpei-kun? Ah, oh, hey, Fuka. What are you doing here? Nothing, really. I come here when I'm feeling down. Is that Chidori's sketchbook? Hmm? Oh, yeah. This is where I first met her. What are you doing here, Fuka? Oh, I went home for a bit. I've been going back there a lot lately. I see. You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're totally different from when you first came to the dorm. Really? Yeah, you were so timid back then. But now you're so... strong. You've changed too, Junpei-kun. Yukatan said the same thing. But I don't think so. I mean, just the other day, I got all freaked out about being scared. I even lashed out at the leader. I'm one piece of work, aren't I? That's not true. But I really was scared. Actually, I'm still scared. But after thinking about it, I realized that I don't want to lose my memory. If I forget everything, that means I'll forget Chidori, too. And I wouldn't even be alive right now if it wasn't for her, you know? So I say F that. You're scared because you're not running away. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Fuka. That's why I want to protect everyone. Think about it. The dark hour is really scary too, isn't it? But our persona's awakened, and we're here today. The future hasn't been decided yet, and I want to be true to myself. True to yourself? You're really something, Fuka. We should fight. I agree.
Hi, how was your day? Hello? Are you awake? Hey, I have good news. I guess is coming back today. Mitsuru Senpai said her wounds have finally healed. We're meeting in the lounge tonight. Don't forget, okay? See ya! I'm back, everyone. Sorry to have worried you all. Man, I'm glad to see you. I was getting nervous. <gasps> Me too. I was fearing the worst. I'm a machine, so I can always be rebuilt. Even if I was completely destroyed, the programming data necessary to recreate me would still exist. Hey, don't talk about yourself like that. They said another week would be required for a complete recovery, but I had the process expedited. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Mitsuru-san visited me at the lab and told me everything. That must have been difficult for you all to hear. Have you been well? I mean... Considering the circumstances. I've... come back. But... <laughs> Ten years ago, I... What I did to you was... <sighs> but... If I hadn't done that to you, you wouldn't be suffering like this. Ryoji has presented you with a difficult choice. Have you made your decision? I have a favor to ask of you. Tomorrow, when Ryoji comes, please, please kill him. I can't bear to see everyone hurting like this. Please choose to have your memories erased, even if... Even if it means forgetting everything, and everyone. I guess, what are you talking about? Yeah, this isn't like you. What's wrong, I guess? Why? Why did I come back here? My mission is to protect humanity from shadows. But now I know that I can't defeat them. So then, why am I here? I'm useless. I cannot even shed a tear for you all. Oh, I guess. Why fight when you know that you can't win? What is the purpose of that? Why are you wasting your lives? Yeah, she's right. We have no intentions of wasting our lives. That's why we want to see what's waiting for us up ahead. Right, Ken? Right. I... I don't understand. It must be because I don't possess... a life. <laughs> this has nothing to do with having a life. I'm a machine. A machine that was created to protect humans from shadows. But I can't fulfill that mission with the powers I was given. So then... what is my purpose now? Could someone please tell me? We don't know the answer, I guess. The only one who can tell you what your purpose is, is you. That's why we're having such a hard time making our decision. There's just no easy answer. But as long as we're alive, 
we have to do something. When we see others hurting, we want to help them. So that's our purpose. <laughs> I'm not too good at explaining it, but that's what we all think. Can finding one's purpose really be so simple? When I saw you collapse, I realized something. I want to protect you. I don't want to forget about you. Fuka-san. There are times when you will lose sight of your goal, and you will have to search for it. But if you can't find it again, then you must set your heart on a new goal. I'm not really one to talk, but I feel that I've come to understand something important this year. To truly live, you will need to make changes sometimes. Do you think I can do that? Do you think I can change? Yes. I mean, you've changed so much already. Haven't you noticed? In fact, you're changing even as we speak. I know what my purpose is. I'm a machine. A machine who is here to live. And the one who has given me this new purpose is... me. This is the promise I've made to myself. I don't know how I'll do it, but I guess that is part of living, too. Yes. Will you allow me to join with you all? Thank you. I will be with you all, no matter what happens. That's the spirit! Hey, long time no see. Midnight's just around the corner. At midnight, I will change from this form into something unrecognizable. So, have you reached a decision? Okay, I'll be waiting in her room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. Ryoji-kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you'll have to kill me influence your decision. As I said before, I'm going to disappear anyways. I won't feel any pain by dying, so there's no need to worry about me. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you made your decision? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm in too. I have made my decision as well. Then we're all in agreement, yes? Better let him know then, okay? Hey, it's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Although back then, I didn't appear in this form and wasn't known by this name. Don't tell me you've all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But you're the only one here right now, so... I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and your memories of the battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day in fear of your inevitable death. Nyx cannot be defeated. It's useless to fight her. Are you still thinking, or have you already made up your mind? I guess my words didn't change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I have no choice.
See? I'm not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. Do not hesitate to kill me. I want you to think about this carefully. Is facing Nyx really the best decision? Some things in this world cannot be changed. You do not understand this yet. Memories are ambiguous. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you want to end all your friends' pain and suffering? It's up to you. You're the only one who can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. I understand. It's regrettable, but it's your life. You can do what you want with it. I will respect your decision. Let's go back to the lounge. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. Oh, I should say my farewell to you, shouldn't I? This is the last time we'll be able to speak like this. Thank you, goodbye, and... I'm sorry. I wish we could have had more time together. It was nice. I'm glad we met. I'm glad I knew you as Ryoji Mochizuki. I'm glad we could share these last few moments together like this. Thank you. Could you... hold on to this? It's proof that I was human. For however short a time, if you held on to it for me, I... I think I'll be able to stand it. We should go back. The others will be worried, I'm sure. Yo, what's up, Ryoji? <sighs> it's an unfortunate decision, but it is yours to make. That's right. But you can't defeat Nyx. It's impossible. But we must still try. Personally, I don't care if it is impossible. I understand. It's almost midnight, so I'll keep this brief. I'll tell you where to find Nyx. You'll find her at the top of Tartarus. On the promised day, you must journey to the top of the tower. When's the promised day? Exactly one month from tomorrow, January 31st, 2010. Nyx will descend to Tartarus, and the world will end. One month. Tartarus is a gigantic rift in the darkness of the night sky. It's a beacon to guide Nyx, with the apprisers coming, Nyx learns that the way has been prepared and descends there, and thus, the Demise will come. So that's why it's called the Tower of Demise. But what you're saying is, we can fight Nyx if we reach the top? That's right, but remember, from today you will fight against eternal despair. Like I've said so many times before, Nyx cannot be defeated. When you face her, you will finally understand this truth, and then you will realize what it is you are trying to stand against. We understand. There's no need to keep telling us. January 31st. We won't forget that date. Well, I'll be going on ahead of you then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. Ryoji-kun! I guess... I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy. And my friend. I guess... Thank you. This will probably be the last time I'll see you all like this, but I'll always be watching over you. Well, goodbye. Best wishes in the coming year. That's what you say on New Year's Eve, right? See ya!
<laughs> that Ryoji. We have one month until January 31st. Together, we'll reach the top. Hello? Are you up? Morning. Oh wait, I mean, Happy New Year's! Hey, you want to come to the shrine with us? Mr. Senpai prepared kimonos for us. <laughs> then let's go get dressed. Come on, the kimonos are in my room. Good morning. Oh, um, Happy New Year, Senpai. Happy New Year's to you, too. Yeah. Happy New Year to you, too, Koro. <laughs> oh, man, I completely overslept. Why'd I stay up all night watching that stupid movie? Did you guys see it? It had these giant Amazon women running around in the jungle. Why would I watch that? Um, is anyone gonna visit the shrine? No, I don't believe in superstitions. Me either. Oh, that's too bad. Yukari-san and the others are already there. They're all wearing kimonos. Kimonos, huh? Uh, I'm gonna run to the store. Hold it right there, Junpei. Uh, what? You're going to the shrine, aren't you? N no, I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm just going for a walk. Uh, oh, yeah? Well, I'm going with you then. I'm bored. Oh, I'll go too. All right, then. Let's go. Anyone know where it is? Yeah, the girls told me the directions. Sweet! Have you decided what to wish for? <laughs> Me too. Then let's pray for that from the bottom of our hearts. There's nothing to worry about. I have the utmost certainty that we can do this. Yeah. Oh, it's Junpei-kun and the others. do our very best this year. But man, you guys are late. Yucatan. What? Happy New Year. Hmm? What's the matter, Yori? Mitsuru Senpai. You look hot. I um <laughs> I mean, stop staring at me. Happy New Year's everyone. 
I've never worn a kimono before. Um, does my sash look okay? Fuga, you look... wow! Jeez, this traditional clothing is quite interesting. However, it's difficult to move in. Uh, Aichan, considering what you usually wear, that looks even more amazing on you. <sighs> is that so? What is this odd sensation I feel? But man, <laughs> I gotta say, um, you look pretty cute yourself. Uh, oh, uh, it, it's nothing. Ah, I'm so glad I came. <laughs> New Year's kicks ass. Yeah! Junpei-san, why are you acting so strange? Man, we got to see some great stuff today. Right, Akihiko-senpai? Uh, I, uh, I guess so. Hey, aren't you guys cold? Mm, a little, but I love this time of year. Um, that's not what I meant. Junpei-san said that you guys aren't wearing anything underneath your kimonos. He said what? Huh? Wow, you've really taken Ken-kun under your wing, huh? No, uh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Ouch! Did you guys finish making your wishes? Of course we did. Oh, but I ain't telling what I wished for. I heard your wish won't come true if you tell anyone. Isn't that what they say about prophetic dreams? Uh, it's not like it takes a rocket scientist to figure out what Junpei wished for. Hey, wait, 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 what's up with that? What, you think it's gonna be something like, I wish to meet a hot babe, huh? Well, shows what you know. What I really wished for is... The same thing we all did, right? I wish to prevent the demise. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's nip it in the butt. Mm-hmm. Besides, don't you go for younger girls anyway? What? Whoa, did I guess right? Creepy. 